Hey guys, it's here bringing you another video. Now, welcome to the car video. So, apologies, there was a slight delay. Uh, two things happened. First thing, it's been really bad weather, and finally it's sunny outside. Second thing is I had recorded this once, but then I got back to edit it, and I recorded it with the wrong microphone. So I've now checked, and it is with the right microphone. So, yay! Uh, so before we get into the car itself, I just thought I'd explain a few things. First thing is why am I doing this video? Uh, basically, the, the, there's two reasons, two main reasons. One, it's exciting for me, and as I'm a YouTuber, I kind of share my life with you guys. Obviously, mostly through League of Legends, but, you know, events and vlogs and stuff I, I like doing. I want to do more of. And that leads on to the second point is I want to do more content going about places, mainly probably on this second channel. And if I don't say what car it is, that's all what the comment section is going to be. What's the car? What's the car? So I can make this video, and then from the future, I can just say, go watch that video. It explains everything. So that's the main reasons I'm doing this. It's also going to be on the second channel, because for those people that aren't interested, they don't have to watch it. For those who are interested, it's on the second channel. It doesn't affect the main channel. I thought that was just the best thing to do. So let's finally get on to the car itself. So what is it? Uh, why did I get this specific one? And then I'll show you all around it. So it is... Um, pleased to say a bmw 2 series coupe it is the 218i which does include to have a turbo in it and uh, it's brand new um but there is a little story behind that it was actually pre-registered uh, so basically if you don't know what pre-registered is it's basically a brand new car but because the dealership has certain targets to register new cars and they haven't sold enough the dealership registers a brand new car to the dealership so technically i'm the second owner to this car but I picked it up when it had like five miles on the clock. Like it had, it was brand new. Uh, but being the second owner, it meant the price got chunked down. And the cool thing with this one is, what well, one of the negatives of pre-registered is you don't build it yourself. I was planning to go for a new one. And obviously I was going to pick all my options. It was already on the forecourt. Like it was brand new already built. So I couldn't really change anything. And there, there's only one big thing that I don't really like about it. Other than that, it's really good. I'll show you guys that it's got some upgrades that you normally don't get uh, unless you literally spend thousands to get this stuff. Uh, the first thing you can see is it's uh, full leather interior. I wasn't going to get full leather interior because that upgrade alone was £1,200 and I wasn't going to spend £1,200 on leather. But this one had it. So let's show you around the cockpit. Again, my camera skills may not be amazing. This production quality is not going to be amazing i will say one thing i'm going to talk about at the end is i am thinking about getting a gopro and mount it and stuff to the car because having my massive dslr camera it doesn't fit in here very well it's really big and this isn't a crazy big car so anyway let's go into it so excuse my camera skills maybe i'll do an edit i'm not sure knowing me i won't so welcome to the steering wheel so as you can see now again reminding you guys i picked this car up when it had five odd miles on the clock it now has 603 miles, if it focused. Um, that mainly is going to Coxcom. So we did take my car to Coxcom, my dad drove. But then after we went to Telford, my dad actually drove then to South Wales. And then when he came to pick me up, he went from South Wales to Telford and then all the way back down to where we live. So a lot of mileage has already been put on the car, but that's good. It's a brand new car and it needs to be broken in. The engine isn't loose yet. So that's the idea. So it's great. Um, so there's, there's all like, you know, well, the stuff. So you got fuel uh, at the bottom there. If it focused, that'd be great. But fuel is like there. Speedometer, obviously. Uh, revs and miles per gallon. I don't really notice the miles per gallon because I'm just doing country and city driving mainly. Uh, the steering wheel. Uh, so a standard BMW sports steering wheel. Uh, it's got all the, the volume controls and the phone controls here. It's actually a little bit dirty. Um, and then cruise control here. I don't ever see myself actually using cruise control, to be honest, because I don't really do a lot of motorway driving. I just do very minimal, so I don't do enough to be kind of tired on the motorway. Uh, down here is my centre console. I don't know if I mentioned it is an automatic. Uh, I did pass my test as a full licensed driver. I can drive manuals legally, but I did want myself just to get an automatic. I am so happy that I did. I'm having more fun driving this than I did my old, well, old car, and I'll talk about that one later. Got all the console that operates the screen up there. So you got like the, the spinny wheel, the turn it. You got all the buttons and shortcuts and stuff. But yeah, the, the, the wheel, obviously. So radio and all that stuff. It's obviously got Bluetooth and all that stuff too. Uh, all the storage. So two cup holders. Uh, it's an inside joke with my family. My old car 
I did not have two cup holders. It only had one, and it used to drive me mad. Uh, but one thing I'm actually have to get used to with this car, it's a remote key, so I actually never need to put this in somewhere. So I have already several times gotten out of the car and forgotten to lock it because it's just you take the key and go. Um, so there's that. Uh, obviously, all radio and CD stuff, climate control and all that. Uh, over here, passenger seat uh, in the speakers. So one of the upgrades that I was talking to you guys about, if it focuses, you can see Harmon and Cardon. Uh, yeah, that's the I upgraded hi-fi system that was in this pre-registered car. I wasn't going to get that. That option alone is £700 extra. But I'm really happy this car has it. It's a really good audio system. Um, center console, obviously. And then obviously handbrake. In here, I already have two charging cables. So I'm never like without a charging cable for my phone. And then there's the back. Again, this is not a uh, friendly car to passengers, really. But there you go. Again, full leather, which is kind of cool. Um, so now what I'm going to do uh, is go out the car and show you guys, obviously, the outside. But obviously, for security and all that, I am going to be blurring the license plate. And I'll probably, to make it easier on myself, kind of like cut from when I'm showing the front, then cut to show the back, and then obviously the side will be fine. But yeah, right now, I think I'll get out and show you the front. But I guess a lot of people like hearing the car door noise, so there you go. Okay, so there is the car to the side. Uh, and again, one of the other options this car had was the 18-inch alloy upgrade. Again, wasn't going to get those, it just came with it. So now I'll show you the front. Okay, so obviously going to be blurring my license plate, but there's the front of the car. Kind of looks very sporty from the front, to be honest. I kind of really like how it looks. So there you go. There's the rear of the car. Again, blurring, but again, looks pretty good. The only difference between this and, say, the 4 Series Coupe is this rear end stays a bit higher. The 4 Series Coupe kind of goes a lot lower in the trunk. But there you go. There's the car. Okay, I'm back in the car. While I was doing that, it was kind of weird. I had, like, an old man looking at me, kind of really confused, because I'm just in a public car park. Uh, but it's kind of dead. But yeah, weird old man. Um, but overall, that's the car. Uh, hopefully you guys got a pretty good glimpse of everything in it. Uh, I'm incredibly happy, obviously. But yeah, like, again, it's not a Ferrari. I didn't want to hype this up at all because, you know, Mini Lad, if you watch him, he just released his Ferrari and stuff. Like, yeah, this is my first technical car that I'm personally driving on the road. I literally bought this car the day of passing my driving test. So now just to quickly go over the story of, Huz, what about your old car? You bought one a year ago. Uh, so a year ago, I did actually buy a 1 Series, again, BMW 1 Series. Uh, but the problem was, I never clicked with that car very well. I really didn't like the clutch. And also, then I had laser eye surgery. So that delayed me passing my actual driving test, because I needed to build confidence again with my eyes. So when it came to me, kind of the last couple months, actually driving again and going to pass my test, I just thought to myself, I'm just going to get an automatic. You know, this car, just to kind of say, yes, it was expensive. It's, it's a decently priced car. But I'm doing it on finance. Obviously, I did give a pretty good deposit, but it's not breaking the bank. It's very affordable. My insurance even wasn't that expensive, to be honest. Like I was a lot cheaper than I was expecting because this car does have the word sport in it. Um, and obviously being a brand new technical driver. Um, but no, overall, very happy. Um, people say, is there anything I would have liked with it? Obviously, yes, because it's pre-registered. I didn't get to pick the options. I was pretty set on getting the blue version of this car. And obviously, I didn't. But I still really like the black. Like, again, and other the other optional extras, I can't literally go over all of them because there's way too many. But the chrome that you saw, that's an optional extra. You don't get that as standard. But no, I'm very, very happy with it. And you guys will probably see content in it in soon. Uh, I am thinking about buying a GoPro. You guys can leave, you know, should I do that or not? Uh, I'm always going to be safe about it. You know, I'm never really going to vlog in the middle of a Cambridge city centre because there's too many cyclists. You have to really pay attention in there. But, you know, just driving around these type of areas, going to the gym and back, that's when I probably vlog and that's when I do Q&As, updates on my health uh, with weight loss and stuff. Because now I've got the freedom to go to the gym, um, which is awesome. And uh, obviously, again, just the other little things in this. Obviously, it's got the standard, you know, the automatic lights, uh, windscreen wipers, eh, all that stuff. So what we'll do to end the video, I guess, hopefully this video was enough. Uh, I guess the only thing I didn't show is like opening the bonnet and the boot, but... They're standard, you know, it's just, it's just a BMW engine and a boot. So there's nothing really to show. Uh, but I guess I'll just start the car to end the video. So there you go. Hopefully the camera or hopefully the microphone picked that up. If it did, great. If it didn't, oh well. But that's going to be it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you've got any questions about the car or anything like that, I know a big one is going to be how much did it cost. I don't really want to specifically go into price. You can look it up again. Just to say the BMW... Uh, 
cars have three levels of trim uh, se sport and m sport this is a sport it's the middle range and it's fully specced out so if you want to find out and you really want to find out just go spec out a brand new two series coupe sport trim fully specced out if you really care about how much it was but that's gonna be it my ac just kicked on so i'm gonna go back home and record more videos edit this one and probably release it to be honest so yeah let me know go let me know what you guys think i know bmw isn't for everybody everybody's gonna be like oh why don't you get the mercedes or the audi i personally just fell in love with the two series coupe for the past couple months i saw a couple on the road i was like damn and then they're, they're actually kind of rare you don't see them often my granddad didn't even know this car existed so that was kind of cool too and he's a car person uh, so that's gonna be it like it if you like it subscribe if you haven't leave all the comments down below and i'll see you guys next time